In this video, I'm gonna show you everything you can do to optimize Brawlhalla. Now, I know I've already made a video on this a year ago, but looking back, it feels extremely incomplete compared to all the research I've been doing. So if you want to improve frames, input lag, and fix common issues, do watch until the end. I'm gonna divide this video in segments, from the easiest and most impactful to the more harder to reach ones. Starting with Steam, go to your library, right-click properties, head to betas, and activate tech test. Then in general, we have Brawlhalla's launch options. This is arguably the most important step, and here you can paste certain commands, and these are what have worked best for a while. I'm not gonna go over what each of them do, but I'll leave a website where they're all explained. I will give some quick notes though. Don't use the no easy and I cheat one if you wish to play rank, as it disables it. No network next usually helps, but it may not. If you experience more internet lag, not frame lag, remove it. If you start experiencing screen tearing or your screen just feels weird, use frame fix instead of frame fix unbounded, and set FPS to your monitor's refresh rate, instead of unlock FPS. If you have a 60Hz monitor, for example, it should look like this. The set FPS command can vary, so here's what Duke has to say about it. Since we're on Steam, I also recommend turning off the in-game overlay. You won't be able to add friends or chat through Steam while playing, but your performance will improve, and also turn off the message window flash. Brahala gets really weird when there's stuff going on in the background. Next thing is really simple, simply go to your Windows graphics settings and turn on whatever you see. In Windows 10 you might see less options than in Windows 11, just turn everything on since they're all useful. If you don't use the Xbox game bar, do consider disabling it. Since the process is simple yet different depending on your Windows version, just follow the instructions in the link in the description, or slow the video down as I scroll past it, it takes one minute. Getting into the video settings, here's what you need to do. First right click your desktop, NVIDIA control panel, head up to adjust desktop side and position, and check full screen and GPU on all your monitors. Also, make sure your refresh rate is max, as many people forget to change it. Then head to manage 3D settings, program settings, select Brawlhalla game.ex and put power management mode in preferred maximum performance, and vertical syncing off. If you're using a laptop, also set low latency mode to ultra. Oh, and of course, don't forget to update your GPU drivers. For NVIDIA, just enter the GeForce app and head to the drivers menu. Pretty straightforward and simple. If you have another kind of GPU, just look it up on Google. Hardware acceleration can make your programs run smoother, but it can also really affect lower end computers, so you might want to turn it off in places like Discord or Chrome, where they're most popular. On Discord, just go to User Settings and then Advanced, and on Chrome, just click right here on the top right, then Settings and System. If you listen to music on YouTube while playing Brawlhalla, having the video playing in the background can affect your game immensely. I recommend downloading this Chrome extension that just allows you to listen to the music without the video, saving resources. There's not much you can do inside Brawlhalla. You can choose to delete outdated replays option so the replays tab opens faster. Also, make sure you run the game in full screen. Now for last, this one's a bit tricky. It can definitely help, but make sure to follow exactly as I do to not mess up. In the Windows search bar, type Register editor. Once here, follow as I do. Local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, image file execution option, and once here, right-click the folder and create a new key named brahalagame.ex. Make sure you type it exactly like this with its capitalizations. Then right-click that folder you create and create a new key named perf options. Once in there, right-click new and create a dword 32 bit which you'll name exactly CPU priority class, also with the capitalizations. Then simply double left-click and change the value data to 3. After that, go back to image file execution options again. And just like before, make a folder like this named easy anti cheat eos named exactly like this, then make perf options options again, and CPU priority class, which this time you'll give a value of 1. And that'll be all. If you have any questions, do leave a comment down below. I'm not perfect, but I'll try my best to answer the ones I know about. Hope this helped, subscribe if you did, and see you all next video.